Hey everyone, Wannabots here, and welcome to Cuisineer, a roguelite restaurant management and or also action-adventure RPG. Uh, it's really charming. We played the demo for this a couple months ago and had a lot of fun with it. And they were kind enough to reach out and send us a copy. So, I've caught up to where we left off after the demo. Uh, if you haven't seen this before, don't worry about the plot too much. It's pretty light. I mean, essentially, our, our main character's parents decided to go on some kind of scam around the world. Well, we don't know if it's train a scam, trip? but... I don't know. It seems suspect. And so she's been left with the restaurant. Let's see. But also, wanna... we have to acquire all of our ingredients. Yeah, so we have to get um... our ingredients. We also have to rebuild the restaurant because it's... For some reason, like, considerably smaller than it was when our parents were running it, and also has no furniture, <laughs> uh, which is confusing. Anyway, so we're going to talk to the big man, and I want to inquire about making the restaurant bigger. Uh, upgrading the restaurant... Oh! Hey! So this is actually kind of useful. We can effectively... Uh, yeah, it doesn't even cost that much. So I'm going to just have that go. Uh... Mm. This does mean that we're not going to get access to the restaurant for two days, so we're going to just go on two dungeon crawls while he's working on that. Does a dungeon crawl always take exactly one day? Uh, yes. Yeah. Whenever also, you get... that map is interesting. So it looked like there was a swamp area and a vol volcanic area. We've only really gone to the forest, yep. right? Yeah. So I, uh, I'll i pause on the map next time. My apologies. Mm -hmm. uh, so like I said, I have done a little bit. So I actually have this big sword that I got from the first boss in here. Oh, wow. Uh, it's nice and slicey. It's also very slow. But realistically, I don't want to spend too much time fighting the I things I mean, the fact here. that you just hacked through a bunch of angry chickens. The, uh, the, basic, also... the basic spatula that you start with only does 10 damage. This does 35. So this is the equivalent of hitting enemies like four times. Oh, Pepper. Pepper. Dead Pepper. Oh. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's interesting because... Yeah, the... As, aside from the animals, which obviously become meat, you have a number of creatures that... Angie veggie. Yeah, that they're vegetables, but the flower puffs, they actually do just look like little pom-poms. And I suppose they just turn into flour afterwards? Yep. Nice that they're conveniently already packaged into sacks. This doesn't seem sanitary to me. But no. But who am I to judge? You can even stunlock the pigs. The pigs are normally a bit of an issue. But yeah, so if you've played games like Moonlighter, this is going to be kind of similar, just in terms of go out, grab resources, bring them back, um, and kind of rinse repeat. Uh, you, you can also find like equipment and stuff out here uh, that we can upgrade, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Yeah, and you've also been finishing little quests in the village so that you can acquire new recipes. Yeah, it's just like randomly generated stuff like, get me wood, get me fried eggs, which I haven't figured out how to fry an egg yet, which is... Are you something. sure it's generated or is it... No, it's definitely generated because I've I've talked to some of the characters and they asked for a different thing. Also, some of the NPCs are fully randomly generated. Uh, so there is like uh, <laughs> a younger character model that was... Uh, was talking about, like, am I a bad mother? Which was a little weird. Um, Unless they were a mouse or something a smaller. Yeah, they might have been a mouse. Because all, all of the characters in this are various forms of anthropomorphized animal, human animal. It, I, it I, varies a little bit. You have people like the uh, the carpenter who is, like, full dog man. Yeah, kind of And then of you like have our character who is kind she of looks a little like a bit more 50-50. Yeah. And then you have... Oh, uh, what was it? There were the cows. Yeah, the cows. Uh, there's the dragon people uh, mm -hmm. who are, like, much more human looking. Right. I wonder if I can do a charge attack. No. Oh, can I actually check a map? Eh, not really. At least they don't seem to suffer from the I have human ears but also animal ears atop my head business. Yeah. I always thought that was so bizarre. Okay, so I actually don't need any of these resources. Uh, or more per se, I need a lot of resources, but I only have so many, so much inventory space. You can actually see what you have back at home, uh, so you don't have to, like, double, uh, or... You don't have to uh, just guesstimate, like, what you have at home. Oh! Watermelons? Also, that's one of the... 
Uh, bison? Yeah. Uh, there's like... Oh, yep. He charged. There we go. So that's actually, I think, supposed to be kind of a cow because they drop beef. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, but it bison, it's kind of its own... Yeah, that's it fair. It creates beef. You can even have bison cow hybrids called beefalo. Yeah. I've always wanted to try beefalo, but they're rare enough that their meat isn't really, like, economically... Or it isn't common. I know that there's... There's definitely people that are going, mm, you know, to preserve our our plains and whatnot. It'd be better to exclusively ranch buffalo or to have the hybrids because I, I suppose they release less methane. Well, yeah. But it's one of those things where overall reducing the amount of beef consumed at all or it's beef probably production. Good. Yeah. yeah. Also, cows are just cute. Yeah, cows are cute. I feel weird. I don't feel as weird about eating a chicken, but I feel weird about eating cows and goats and... I mean, they're mammals. Yeah. It, definitely closer to us in the hierarchy of things. Though, chickens can be good pets from what I they hear. They can be. They can also just be little monsters. <laughs> I mean, descended from dinosaurs. What yeah. would you expect? Like, my, my uncle's chicken Brutus it was... Well, Rooster. Yeah. Was. Yeah, was. <laughs> Little shit would just sneak up on you and try and tear into your ankles. Uh, and, like, the backs of your legs. And he was a very aggressive rooster. The other rooster was very docile. It was weird, person. too, because Brutus, like, was very aptly named. <laughs> Oops. I mean, maybe that's the point. It too, Brute. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but Stabs you with his, uh, with his, what do they call them? Spurs? Yeah. While your back is turned? Uh, but specifically, he had like a really small head. Like, yeah, yeah, he did. My uncle had two roosters, Brutus and I don't know the other one. And Brutus was like big body, tiny head. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was like actually a just... Nice Regular proportioned, rooster. kind of like a, the other hens and such. Honestly, a, kind of a beautiful rooster, all things told. He had a nice comb. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, while we were there, Brutus tried to attack all of us, and my <laughs> uncle just casually just, like, kicked him end over end, like, up into the air uh, because he was being feisty and attacking my uncle... Uh, my it wasn't aunt. even that hard, and he did, you know, a bunch of flapping flips. Yeah. To kind of like dodge. Well, not dodge. Like he got hit. It was just to land. I well. don't really want to talk about animals getting kicked. You know what? Brutus deserved it. Well, they ended up eating Brutus and then they later. Ate Br Brutus, like that night. That night. It was like very soon. It was. Had had we come come back to my uncle's house, we would have had Brutus. <laughs> oh no. No, it reminds me of the stories of my dad visiting his aunt and uncle's farm in upstate New York, and they had just Angus cows and and bulls and stuff, and he liked petting this one. And he get he visited them at one point and was like, Hey, you know, where's that bull that I like to pet? And they're like, You're eating him. And it's like, ah Yeah, that would be I think a little too weird for me. My mom mm -hmm. would talk about her experiences, you know, growing up on a farm and, like, you can't grow attached to the pet. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they didn't even, like, give them good names. They would give them, like, names like literally bacon. That's why they do it. Ah. Yeah. I mean, it... Like, you know, when you have names like Lamb Chop and stuff? Yep. Oh. It's it's so you're, you're kind of preemptively preparing yourself for the, that animal's fate. Which is why I think I, I I really do like growing plants. Someday I would like to have a tomato plant. I would love to figure out how to make a, uh, like get a sugar bomb. You, you want a sugar bomb tomato? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wander has of... been in, very much enjoying sugar bomb tomatoes, which are kind of like grape tomatoes, but They're, sweeter. Yeah, they've got a, like a much more intense flavor. And I really like it. Mm -hmm. 
Because uh, I remember when I was young and my grandparents had a tomato plant growing out of a, it was like an old, uh, just kind of an abandoned, I don't I don't know if it was a, an outdoor stone grill or a, an old chimney, but they were just kind of growing it in the top of it. And I remember looking excitedly out the window every time I visited as a kid just to see if any of them were red. Because then it meant it was time to pick them. Yeah, yeah, because definitely for plants like that, I don't feel bad about plucking off the um, the ripe fruit because it's what they want you to do. Yep. They they want you to take the fruit. Most of the time, peppers don't. Hmm. I mean, hot peppers probably. Yeah. So at this point, we've probably bred peppers to be even worse. So. I know that there are competitions for growing the hottest peppers. Wasn't there some guy that created the spiciest pepper on record? Yeah, Carolina Reaper and like ghost peppers and some other stuff. Um, well, I thought the newest one was Pepper X, well, but yeah. he did make the Carolina Reaper one. Yeah, so it was the guy that made the Carolina Reaper and effectively because of IP law when it comes to plants, he kind of lost uh, the rights to it or like it was kind of stolen and used without his permission? Uh, from what I heard, it was more just the name was an issue, that people were trying to market products using the name of the pepper without using the pepper or something. Mm. I don't know. But... But he was having uh, a ton of issues. Oh, oh, I think you're right, that he's only going to be using his spiciest pepper as part of jams and stuff, so yeah. that people can't extract the seeds. Correct. And so, uh... I do like pepper jelly with, with goat cheese on crackers. But it has to be the right kind of sweet pepper jelly. I got enough cheese. Not the kind of thing that you'd want to have on a sandwich. <laughs> Now nah, that is reserved for... Unfortunately, I've eaten more strawberry and raspberry jam than I would like in the past few years, because Wander does not like grape jelly. Everyone in the audience, what's your my problem, favorite jam for peanut butter and jelly? My uh, grape jelly mostly boils down to... Hmm? Uh, my problem with grape jelly is it's too sweet. Too sweet for you. Yeah, they, they pack in way too much sugar. No, yeah, that, that's true. They're probably... I mean, we're around grape country. We can probably find, like, down in Naples or elsewhere, um, places where they have more natural grape jelly as yeah. opposed to... Because, I mean, around here, there's also the, you know, grape pies, which is something you usually don't see elsewhere. But. Oh, is that a cheese creature? That's interesting. And I do like mint jelly, but mint jelly is one of those things that we you typically only eat with meat, and we don't eat much meat anymore. Oh, mint jelly. Mint jelly. Okay. I thought I heard grape jelly again. I'm like, what? No, 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 no. Mint jelly. Though, fun fact, grape jelly is one of the primary components if you want to make that kind of sweet hot dog stew in your crock pot yeah it you yeah you mix it with kind of the cocktail sauce and that's how you make the kind of sweet and spicy chili dogs except not really chili because chili dogs it, it's not chili dogs i don't know what what would they be called just like appetizer dogs or jam jam dogs i there's definitely a name for the sweet appetizer dogs that have the um the chili sauce with or cocktail sauce mixed with the is it cocktail or is it chili no, i've never actually had no it is it dog. is the high it's the it's like the chili sauce mixed with grape jelly we should find a place that actually has chili dogs but the chili dogs that you're thinking of are more of the spicy with meat and stuff all of the the, don't they even come in a meat sauce? It's not just the dogs themselves. This is amazing. Ah. 
Like how he is a little sprig of wheat. Well, yeah. But even beyond that, ow. Oh. Yeah, he, he's using his... His feathers like little shuriken. Yeah, except for I bounce them back at him. Oh, interesting. Is it because of that shield you have? Yep. Yeah, I reflect projectiles after I dash. And I can dash constantly. So I just have to make sure that I have the bubble going constantly. That's how I got this sword earlier, because I was just like, hey, but what if I was busted? I do... Whenever you get back to town, we're going to have to show off the recipes because whoever illustrated all of the food in this game did a did wonderful job. Such a good job and it's it it's just it makes your mouth water, which is a problem. Like we're going to be this is a game about food, so I suppose much of our discussions going to be about food. Yep. Wander can, you know, he can do all the combat and whatnot. Did you get a pounder? Yeah, the tenderizer. Ooh. Weapon. Deal additional 5% damage when your full health does not stack. Death explosion. Oh, my Deborah knife isn't particularly good in that regard. So. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a big hammer. Yeah, that'll be fun. Let's go big hammer. Uh, I don't don't know you if... tend to use that on chicken breasts? Yeah, I think I, so. I think it's one of those. What about the spatula? To flatten it out. Nope. Oh, yeah, and you can get more items on the belt for extra perks and, and whatnot. Yep. Uh, I think those are healing potions more than anything mm -hmm. else. Unfortunately, my gloves give me the shielding dash, so I kind of can't get rid of them. I don't know if we can sell equipment. Mm. There, maybe there's someone in town that would accept them. Let's see. Freeze duration up. Dash strike now applies. Frozen does not stack. Duration of frozen effects. Yeah, I don't need the health up. Yeah, I guess I'll bring it with me. I think there is a lower level that I can go down to. Yeah, I can keep I can keep going on this run. The problem is I haven't found an inventory upgrade yet. And like my inventory is pretty full. It's not that full, mm -hmm. but it's enough. How far does this go? Well, I'm gonna at least fight the. Whoa! There's a creature ninja. wearing a pot on their head. Yeah. Oh no! Is that where you get the spice? Oh, I thought it was cheese. Oh, there's a coconut tree. Yep. Coconuts are considered exotic fruit. Yeah, it was interesting reading about palm trees and how, yeah, they're date palms, they're coconut palms. Yeah, just interesting to know that they're related in some respect. I didn't know that, actually. Huh? I didn't know date palms and coconut palms. Well, they're they're just palm trees, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. And I was like, huh, I didn't know that, that they had the same... Um kind of descriptor or they're part of the same family or I'll have to see how distantly they are related in the grand scheme of things but it's kind of like how you look at a maple and you're like oh those are maple trees like, sure there are oaks and but the, you know they have different fruits on them you know but also very different leaf patterns we should probably just leave mm -hmm. and get more I was hoping to get some more cheese and exotic fruits yeah, let's bring the Deborah knife and the oops. Bring the Deborah knife and the boots back. See if I can sell them. Unless this chicken meant nope. Nope, chicken's turn tail. Smart chicken. I killed three hundred and eleven creatures on that run. That's <laughs> horrifying. So this is an olive. I want my children to grow up healthy and strong in this town. Wait, oh. Oh, what did she want? She w she wants fried eggs, but for whatever reason, her quest is uh, her veggie mission. Uh, eggs aren't veggies. Yeah, I'm confused. I also don't know how to get a fried egg because, to my knowledge, I can't, like, pre-make food. I think... Oh, I also don't know how to fry them? an egg. So... Well, let's see what your recipes are. Uh, I actually have to check that in the morning. 
Um, I have like maybe a minute or two before it gets too late and our character passes out on the spot. Because time passes when you're looking at menus, which, you know, okay, oh, that's no. kind of realistic. But it means that I have to kind of scoot. Mm hmm. Yeah, I remember we were playing another game and we couldn't even stop to look at the environment because time would be passing by so swiftly. Hours. Yep. Hours worth of daylight, and you look go, at all these food illustrations. But yeah, look at those. They're so absolutely delicious looking. Okay, uh, let's just look around for a hot second. Oh, let's see what's up with the town folk. Well, he's upgrading our store. Done tomorrow. I don't think there's much going on at the moment. Nobody to really talk to. This is Briquette. Look at that absolutely enormous gauntlet. Back for more essential smithing? Okay, hold up. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope. So, How she's asking I... about modifications and whatnot. Here we go. Oof. Hmm, a thousand Oof. gold. I'm not even sure if that's worth it. So, mm -hmm. for a thousand gold, I can increase my damage by one. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Maybe it gets better later on, but... I'm sure you'll find another weapon. Yes, yeah, so we can... buy these. Durian Bomb Kebab Skewer. Enemies that hit you are poisoned and shocked. Oh, that's interesting. So you can actually buy finished food? Uh, what? Oh, no, 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 no. The Kebab Skewer is a weapon, yeah. right? Yep. Oh, why would you do that? There, there would just be meat and vegetables on the weapon that you're wielding. Wow. That'd be weird. Yep. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go back into the dungeon. I might just speed run straight to the first boss. Let's see. I said I was gonna stop here. So yeah, we've got the forest we're in. There's the lava mountain. There's a coliseum, a poison swamp with crystally bits. Yeah, kind, kind of, of an icy it. tundra. Yeah. And then maybe a field. Well, that's a cute little illustration. Mm -hmm. Time to go kill everything. So are the watermelons like tadpoles? Uh, they're like leafy greens. So... Ki kind of? Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm just wondering when you're gonna be able to unlock a new area. I'm assuming I need to get 2,000 gold to get there. 2,000? Why that? Uh, because my current story quest is to, uh, pay off my parents' debt. Hmm. I do wish it would let you start on a later level. Maybe it does, and I just haven't noticed it yet. But, you know, after beating the big chicken, if you could start on level four. Now, is the big chicken the final boss, or is there no, stuff after it? No, it's like it? a mid-boss. I don't, uh, I don't actually... Oh, it would be nice if they allowed you to jump ahead past the bosses that you defeated. Yes. Little healing spring. And these guys, they make rice, correct? Or is yeah, it wheat? they are rice. Oh, rice. They make the cutest noises, and I feel so bad when you have to kill them. I feel no guilt. I slay because that is what I do. That is what I need to do. Also, as a video game. Like, I don't know. There are, there are definitely some games where I do feel guilty about it. Like, if it's, um... I don't know. If, you're, if you just have, like, deer just chilling in a field and you have to kill them for no reason, mm -hmm. that feels kind of ick to me. Yep. Uh. I suppose in this, all of the creatures are aggressive, yeah. and therefore you have to defend yourself. It's like, even the chickens are violent. <laughs> okay. I think we want to go back down this direction. Fortunately, the levels are repetitive and maze-like, and so I have to figure out which direction actually leads me out of here. I think this is it. I was hoping there would be, like, roguelike power-ups. You know, little, like, mid-run upgrades mm. that you could get your hands on. 
Oh, who's throwing the net? Is it the guy in the, the pot again? Yep. So he drops cheese and spice consistently. Yeah, so I don't know what they are. Okay, I think I got rid of the... There's one of the little rice dudes behind me. Rude. Oh, that one seems to be a shaman of some sort. Yeah, they sort. have... The rice have shamans. They give them buffs, like... Making them invincible temporarily. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doesn't even pause when I'm managing inventory. I think I've got plenty of rice. I've got plenty of hardwood for now. I'm trying to have a little bit of everything. Uh, it's interesting because the, uh, the w when you open your restaurant, the people will actually like show up and be like, you don't have uh, beef? I'm mad at you. And it's just like, <laughs> it's not on the menu. I don't have it. Go away. And yeah, just maybe you haven't unlocked a, a recipe for anything, including it. Uh, well, we we have just like regular beef, but it's rare because you have to get it from the pig monsters, mm -hmm. uh, which are not nearly as common as, say, chickens. Yep. Oh, good. This is just a dead end. Okay. When it comes to things that Wander and I look for at restaurants, it's novelty, I would say. Yeah. Is this something new? Has this done been done before? But then you also have just some things that you consistently get. Like, you'll always get mock me from pretty much any Indian restaurant that we go to, or to get takeout from, I suppose, in this day and age. I've never gotten knocked out in this before. You don't have means to heal yourself? Nope. Watch out. I think you should find a healing spring somewhere. Yeah, they exist. I just don't know where they are. There he goes. I just wanted to kill that tree. You got some sap. Hey. What is that? Uh, buff shrine. Okay, well you're buffed, but what about survival? Uh, it does help. Okay, oh, here we go. Ah, there you go. Oh, it looks like a punch bowl. That's cute. I've only had a couple of punch bowls in my life, and they tended to be at church events when I was a kid. They tended to be ick for me, so I usually stayed away from them. Ours were good. I think it was just a combination of fruit juices with sherbet floating around in it. Yeah. You know, like the rainbow sherbet? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> Maybe part of it was that sherbet never really appealed to me. It it also just looked kind of frothy. Oh yeah, it does have a frothiness to the t the surface of it. Like I don't know. I'd or... actually go out of my way to get some of it though. There are some drinks where I'd be okay with. It being frothy, but that's usually creamy things, not fruit. So you're referring to, say, root beer floats? Yeah. There it goes. Nice and easy. Let's see, we could get another tender. Yeah, I might look into it. What do we have quantities of? I need chicken or eggs or flour at the moment. Additional damage to shocked enemies. Discard spatula. Mommy bomb. Damage to enemies that hit you. No. Mm -hmm. And then we have a tenderizer. Additional damage to enemy enemies that are aflame or... 
No. I don't really like either of these. Okay. Let's all grab some wood here. There we go. So how deep do we try and go on this one? Oh, really? I was not expecting a boss room and then a one of these rooms. So it's locked you in. Yep. Maybe the whole point is you just have to defeat the tree? Oh, does the shield? No. No, I have to defeat like two or three waves of these guys. It just seems to be the most formidable of all the creatures in that... Oh, hey, look. It's a dark Dark bulb. pig. Ow. Okay, wait. Did dark pig drop cheese? He... Meat. No, no, there was, there was a cheese drop. Unless there was one of the weird assassin creatures. Yeah, there's just, there is a steak over there that you should probably get, right? Yeah, I just don't have the inventory space. Oh, you don't? And I don't have the time to clear it out. Mm-hmm. Because, again, uh, time does not Yeah, pause. see, the watermelons are tadpoles. Yeah. Which I would question if they're watermelons, if they are tadpoles. I've got plenty of leafy greens and hardwood. I need egg or orichalcum. What about these boots? Boots also have shielding dash. Does not stack. Why is poison? At the end of each attack combo, though. Eh. Oh, it is tough meat. Tough meat. Tough meat. It is not beef. Was this a dead end? Oh, I see where the exit is. It might be another battle room at some nope. point or no. Okay. Yeah, the question is like, how long do I do I descend? Do we try and fight another boss? I'm looking a little worse for wear, but so much of that is just this hammer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Being slow, you mean? Yeah. It does good damage, but it does open me up to some hits. Ah, oh, that guy was worth a lot of exotic fruits. Okay. I yeah. mean, if you find another wellspring... Yep. Yeah, I can get my HP back up. And I think we can get bubble tea leading into these runs. Ah, uh, yeah, bubble tea. That'd be good to get. Ooh, doors are closing. Looks like you have a watermelon rim. I suppose they're kind of watermelony. I'm curious though, because I, I know the developers are... Are they... Nope. You know, I'm not even gonna now, try and guess. So are you saying that they're, they drop leafy greens? Yeah, they drop leafy greens. Oh, so they might be more of a cabbage or a spinach. They just look like watermelons, but if they're not dropping watermelons, then I suppose I can si yeah, they, they could be, uh, maybe even almost like a Brussels sprout, you yeah, know. It could be. Okay. They just have the stripes on the sides and such, so I was going, ooh, they look like watermelons, and it would make sense for a tadpole to be in water, but no. The watermelons are called watermelons not because they grow in water, but because they just have an, a lot of water in them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, strike applies a flame. Nah. Do you have durability okay. weapons or are they okay? Uh, nope, no durability. That's good. There we go. I think I'm just gonna have to bail. I'll kill the coconut. What? 
Oh, come on. Oh. Did you lose everything? No, we lost half of our stuff. I dodged into one of the explosives thinking I'd be able to punch it out. It's fine. Yeah, so we, we lost everything on the lower half. Eh, it's fine. I was kind of killing time anyway. Trying to see how deep I could go and also to see if I could get any new equipment. So do you actually want to open up the restaurant? Yeah, us? I think it's time. Uh, do, I think you need more tables. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's see about that. Oh, we've got mail. Okay, so this is Biscotti. Hi, Palm. It's my birthday. I'm really glad that we can hang out and I can finally give you all the gifts that you've missed out on all these past few years. She gave us crabs. That says something. Okay, so we can upgrade the restaurant again, but we need more money. Mm hmm So it would let me cook, or yeah, cook three things at a time. That's okay. We need tables, though. Yeah. Let's see. How many people can be seated at each of those? Oh, we also have, like, the bigger tables. I'm going to get two more of these. We're just going to go for volume more than anything else. The only immediate problem that we might run into is that we only have one cooking station because I can't afford another one. Um, so you're going to have to be swift about putting all the orders down. Did he just delete one of the tables? He did. Weird. Okay, can I... Yeah, he actually did just delete one of my one of my tables when upgrading the restaurant. Note to self. Pick up all of my stuff. Okay, so that that gives us six. That should be more than enough. Also, we are completely full on ingredients and then some. Uh Oh, your storage is in the Yep. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna be cooking for a while. That's fine. We've got tons of resources. Okay, what does she want? Well egg. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try and get another cooking station at some point. And that's but, the good thing. At least they serve themselves. Yes. I do have to, uh... I do have to go take their money. Is the one thing. But that's Tasty hard, soup. hardly an interruption. Because like, even cooking is kind of automatic here. It's charming. I would love I would love to see if there's like more automation that you can kind of do like uh, automatically taking people's money or I don't know spicy soup spicy soup oh lady lady likes her tongue burning off wow it's just a full on singular ooh, singular pepper just hanging out in that spicy soup mm -hmm. uh, steamed leafy greens. And we haven't raised our re reputation level yet either. I uh, I was going as fast as I kind of could yesterday. Oops. When I was playing this. Boiled beef. Boiled beef. It's the tough meat. I boiling meat is always a mistake. I yeah. find it just makes things tough. And there's definitely ways to like stew it properly. Well, yeah, that's boiling is different than stewing. Mm-hmm. Because much lower heat for a longer period of time, that's kind of the stewing or the simmering. Yeah. Whereas boiling is... Ugh. Okay. Spicy it, soup. This is pretty brain dead, so we, I don't think we need to think about it too hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not like a... There, there were other games where... I had to delicious or I had to gather a oh, lemon cake. I had to gather the ingredients. Oh, yeah. I had to actually prepare every ingredient together and then make sure that I timed the ovens right. Yep. And you also had to clean the tables as well as serve as well as do you understand what I mean? Yep. And you, and you didn't just have the orders popping above their heads. You had to actually take them and memorize them. 
Caramel, really? Yep. They just want caramel? Oddly enough, I think it's made out of the honey. Mm-hmm. Also caramel. Yep. Oh, people need money. Boiled pork. Oh, we are actually making a decent amount of money. So, until you get... Is, do you get an oven or a skillet at any point? Because yeah, so there's other prep tables that I can get. Yeah, because at the moment you can only prepare things that can be boiled or steamed. Yes. Dragon people look fun. Though they do look very, yeah, as you said before, elven almost. Yep. I think they... Yeah, they need money. Payment. Yep. I'll definitely have to get a second cooking station. Not that we're running into too many issues here, but I hate to have a backlog where too many people are waiting simultaneously. Did you get the boiled beef for that one lady? Yep. Yeah, if there's no orders left. I wonder if there's ever a point where you just run out of a particular ingredient and can't fulfill an order. Correct. Uh, well, what will happen is they'll just stand there and be mad at you. Oh. Uh, they will they will only ask for things that you have, but they will stand waiting to be seated if you don't have something they want. Did you get a tasty stoop ready? Yeah. Uh, so somebody will be standing like right here, right at the entrance being like, mm, I want the thing. Oh, steamed crab. Yep. Which hopefully will be a lot of money. And did you only have crab because your friend gave some to you? Correct. It's probably better in a combo meal. Wow. Actually, it wasn't worth that much. Ah. Uh, That's okay. Uh, I'm just trying to get up to or past 2,000 gold. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I'd like to get up to um, like a solid Oh, oh no. 3, All of the people. Oh. Sorry, I was just zoning out. But yeah, I'd like to get up to or past 3,000 gold, because we have to pay a 2,000 gold bill. Oh, that's interesting. So they're on the dial with the clock, is there like a meal time, a tea time, and an evening? Yeah. So is it going to be starting another rush hour? Potentially, yeah. I think they're different kind of meal periods that people will go for. Oh, that guy needs payment. Oh, yep. Yeah. Or he needs to pay, I should say. And remember that one Thai place we went to that had us wait for like 40 minutes before we could pay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was bad. Because it gets... Yeah, it... You want to leave because you're done with your meal, you've boxed everything up, and you're just there sipping water. And even the water's run out. Yep. And you're just going, uh... It, it was one of those where another group had come in. Maybe they had been seated, but the, the waiter had disappeared into mm -hmm. the back room for a while. And the people are, like, looking around, like, I don't think they'd even gotten their order in yet. Oh, no. No. And so there was kind of this... They, like asked us or looked at us or something we're just like just leave it's mm -hmm. not worth it because we were there for like double the amount of time that we normally would uh just because they were so slow ah oh, noodles would be good did we pick up udon uh i think we have a package of noodles but that's ramen. I'm talking oh, about Oh, you're right. Udon. We might not. You usually kind of poo-poo uh, udon whenever I'm like, hey, udon. Well, I think I, I need to find a good recipe that I can use to have it with, maybe with like a hoisin sauce or something and vegetables. I, I still think udon works perfectly well with Japanese curry. I, I prefer rice. I know rice is good with rice it. Rice picks it up more. And because my issue is you don't want curry to be slurped around and spray everywhere. Because it has that, it has yeah. turmeric in it, or yellow, you know, yellow curry. You, you don't want it to stain everything. Yeah. So I much prefer it being in the rice because the rice soaks it up 
Whereas the noodles, it slides off. These games are weird. What are? Uh, these kind of like dungeon crawler management sims. There aren't that many of them. And well, all... what it is is it's it's splitting the game into two parts. Yeah, yeah, kind of a the couple different modes: restaurant mode and then the adventure or procurement mode, and that varies a little bit. Uh, I think they're all kind of based on Reketeer. If you actually had to do all the steps of the cooking, then it would be a even be like a third stressful. mini game. There, there is a. N there are a couple of, rush. Uh, of different roguelikes and cooking games where you do actually have to do that. Um, like I have another one on my to-do list where it's just like, yeah, you actually do have to worry about prepping all of your meals and making sure they don't burn. I think I prefer this where it's simpler uh, and isn't as um, stressful. Because, yeah, if I had to be mincing the beef and... Boiling the chicken and... And they're all quick time events or we, timing if, things. Especially if they're all a different quick time event. Mm -hmm. Like, I was cool with it in Battle Chef Brigade because the the gameplay for, like, the cooking was just match three. And you oh. had, like, different equipment that you could swap mm -hmm. in. Um, so they were more like puzzles. Yeah, kind of. Um, you still had to do them quickly, but I also had the crock pot. <laughs> yep, the crock pot. But for for this, it's mostly just kind of a matter of, like, just chilling. I'm sure it'll get Guy maybe more stressful or, yeah. later on. Yeah. A couple people are actually going to be waiting in line for payment. I, I, I see Dinner Rush go by and I get worried. And then it's like, no, actually, this is not so bad. That guy wants boiled pork. Yep. I'm curious how that one also wants boiled pork. patient they can be. I don't think I will test it, but, you know, the question of how long is somebody willing to wait for their food Needles. in this game? This is making me hungry, though. And boiled beef. Oh, I know what I wanted to go on a walk for today. Hmm? Uh, Indian food, maybe. Oh, that's just because every time we've walked by that new restaurant, the, the smell wafts over. Yeah, there's a, uh, a really nice... It's technically Nepalese, yeah, it's so Nepalese. it has a mixture of uh, a lot of Indian dishes, but then also some Manchurian, and uh, I, I suppose it's kind of that mixture of you have the the Chinese influence as well. Yep. With some of the noodle dishes. But oh, payment. Oh, yep, you're right. But they are um, they do a very good job of venting the. Uh, <laughs> The smell. I don't think of it's their intentional. Food. Oh no, it has to be. I mean, maybe it's not, but I think the wind just carries it in the right direction over the plaza. There we go. I kind of wish there was a way I could like cut it off, like set kind of a. A closing hour? Yeah, a, a set closing hour. Because, like, it's definitely winding down. But, like, I don't want to kick the people that are already in out. And who knows, maybe they will... Nope. I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily mind. We're still making good money here. We got way more than I thought we were going to get over the course of just one day. I guess it helps having like a gazillion tables. I'm noticing the late night crowd seems to be cops. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or if it just. Oh, okay. You got the steam stuff. Okay. I think I'll close it after this one. Oh, nope. Sorry, madame. Lady came in. I mean. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to close it. No, she just. Get out. She just had boiled pork. I... She's going to be upset. No, she's not. All right, our earnings. Oh, we also got tips. Uh, let's see. Well, we didn't do any anything bad. Reputation earned three. Reputation level three? I don't know. And then let us sleep. You have 
to wonder, though, if they're the only restaurant in town. Yes, I think we are. I wonder, you know when we drive past a lot of rural places and there might only be a diner or something? I truly do wonder, how necessary is it for the happiness of a a town or a city or to whatnot have to have a variety of food available at restaurants? Fatty oh, meat is Biscotti be again. Popular. Hey, Pom. It's that time of year. Just between us, I've heard fatty meat is going to be madly popular tomorrow. Best to stock up on it while you can. Hello, Palm. Heard you're gaining more customers. The restaurant sure is growing a reputation. Celebrated made you just some new furniture. Visit the shop when you have time. Oh, we got free furniture. He's closed today, isn't he? Uh, maybe just the hour. Yeah, nope. He's closed today. Uh... <laughs> Thanks, dude. Uh, it's okay. We should probably just go out. Uh, I guess I'm very quickly going to take a look at the smithy. Mackerel. <laughs> uh, Did we ever have mackerel? I don't know. Maybe. I think we must have because it would be Saba. Yeah. From um, Japanese restaurants. Lovely to see you as always. How shall I serve you today? Quest? Greetings, little kitty. I wonder if you have time to assist me on a little matter. I, I've told you before. My name is Palm. What do you want? I've been trying to find a tasty spice for my concoctions. An experienced adventurer such as yourself wouldn't happen to know where to find some, would you? I might, but I'm... If you'd do me this favor, I'd share with you the recipe for shashu, ra shashu ramen, which I picked up on my travels. Oh. Yeah, that's look at, good. See, look at those illustrations. Hey, why did you Sorry. click past I it? I don't want to look at food right now. It's so good. It's it even so had good. the little, little fish cake in it. It's a homely dish. With hand pulled noodles and warm, rich broth. The taste is elevated with slices of succulent pork braised in a dark soy sauce. You can add it to your menu and draw, draw many customers to your restaurant. That, that sounds like a good deal. Smart as always, little kitty. I look forward to your successful return. I don't know what he actually wanted with that. So we can also. We brew? Oh, possible mods. Oh, so we can, like, improve our equipment with this guy. I'll have to oh. figure out how he actually functions. Yeah, he looks like a gazelle of some sort. Oh yeah, and these, this is the bubble tea place. Yep. So bubble we can tea upgrade research. these. <laughs> so just basic fresh milk tea? Yeah. So if we give them bread, noodles, steamed rice. Wait, so I've got to be able to actually pre-cook some of these then. Yeah, it, you, you must be able to bring finished meals over. Okay, what about you? So they also have fresh milk tea. Wait, it's the same. There's literally no difference from these two, from what I can tell. They are actually really good, though. Kind of. Okay. I... It is so weird. How... I mean, I understand why the cows are the bustiest ladies in town. But it's just weird to have... Shell, I think you just need to come to the... People make the association with milk. And I understand that it, it is a mammalian... It, it is the reason why they they exist. But as a bearer of them, I just... I, it still weirds me out. Shell, I think you just need to come to accept that the inmates of Horny Jail escaped a long time ago. And they're never going back. No, no, no. I'm not talking about horniness. I'm talking about... Like, the association of foods with milk and how I understand it's a natural thing. Any opportunity that people have to make busty women, they will. There's no free untaxed lunch in this world. It's unfair, but it's the way of our capitalist world. Hey. Oh, wait, I... I that balance. Iberico? Yep. What is he? He's the tax man. Well, so it seems like he has feathered ears, but I... And he has claws. I don't know what he is. I don't know what he oh, is. Oh, he's a bunny. You can see one of his ears. Oh, is he a rabbit? Yeah, he is, because you can you can see his ear coming off the hat. Huh. I'd love to go on a holiday, but the tax office can never rest. It's because the taxes themselves never rest. They're always there. Day or night, rain or shine, taxes will exist until the end of time. Phew, that 
was a lot of hard work, but I finally paid off my parents' debt. There were so many times I wanted to give up, but I'm glad I didn't. Maybe I should take a short break. Though not for long. I still have a restaurant to run. Oh. That was the debt? Okay. I was expecting the debt to be uh, a little bit more yeah, substantial have, like, than monthly that. Monthly installments. Yeah, like I was expecting her to say that and then the dude just to interrupt being like, What? You thought that was the debt? No, that was the interest payment for this week. And then, then you have to really panic. I actually do kind of like it when games foist that kind of weird time limit on you where you're like, oh, I need to pay this off hard. Uh, it, some kind of artificial time limit on top of everything else to really make you uh, sweat, try harder. I don't know. Because mm -hmm. I find these games often have minimal stakes. And some little bit of, like, stakes, like, yeah, paying rent or other such things. Or there's the ones where, you know, you have to work your way through a number of regions to find the MacGuffin recipe and special ingredients that can only be acquired from super boss monsters to create the ultimate brew to either face the, the essence of evil or... Uh, somehow yeah. cure the like the nature mother to restore the earth or you know what I mean yeah. like, there are plot lines where there are world shaking stakes and the the alchemist or the cook or someone is the you know the only hope for mankind but shell at some point you should play Dragon Quest builders I think you would actually adore that game what it, it is that it is literally that you are just some random schmuck dude who builds things and you have to be the one to save the world well, sort I thought of we were doing like you know with the atelier games yeah it was kind but of you're not like really that. saving the world in that mm -hmm. or if you are it's wholly secondary to your existence as sentient thighs hey <laughs> maybe that's only riza i don't know about the other yeah, ones i haven't played the other ones i'm looking forward to whatever they're like next Atelier game's gonna be. I should go back and finish Ryza 2 and. Uh, Wasn't there a third? Yeah. Oh, I was blasting the dude with death explosions. I was wondering about. It. <gasps> what? It's possible for you to jump in the water? Yeah, you only take five damage too, so it's not that bad. Now you need fatty meat. Yeah. So. Uh. Enemies that hit you are set aflame. Additional damage to enemies that are aflame, but no thank you. Ah, uh, bubble tea. Yeah, to cut down on the amount of straws that we acquire from from purchasing bubble tea, we when we were down in Pittsburgh, we went to the botanical garden, which was which is ac excellent. I really liked those gardens. But we were going through the gift shop, and you know, I, you want to pick up something from these museums and gardens and whatnot like sure you paid the admission fee but it's nice to have a little thing to take home to remember your trip right and we were looking around and of course as a botanical garden they have some kind of you know new green products things to encourage people to use less plastic and whatnot and sure enough there were straws there and we were astounded to find bubble tea straws which is amazing you know what I mean? Yeah, because I didn't see a whole lot of bubble tea restaurants in Pittsburgh. Well, really, just that bubble tea straws, they have to be so much wider because of the, the size of the tapioca balls. And they have to have that pointed end so that you can spear the top of the bubble tea. Because usually bubble tea has a kind of this wrapping that they melt onto the top of it. Yeah. So that you have to poke the straw through. And so to have these metal straws that, you know, not only are bubble tea straws, have the little indentate, yeah, the, the spearhead end, but then also they were so beautiful. They they have, they're, I think that's kind of that process where you I'd, I anodize. anodize them. Yeah, it's anodization. So they're rainbow colored and it actually hasn't chipped off because I think we had some older metal bubble tea straws that we got in Seattle and the blue paint on the outside chipped off and we're like, uh-oh, we don't want to be using this. Um, 
But no, our, our current straws are, are excellent. And I feel less like wasteful when we go out to get bubble tea now. Because we have those. I, I also have silicone bubble tea straws, but those are only good for the bubble tea that we make at home. Yeah. Because you they don't have the spear end and silicone by its very nature is just squishy. Do you think we'd ever get to a point as a society where people are expected to bring their own cups and straws? I mean, we could. Hmm? We could get to that point, but I think a lot of people would very they're, they're much They're kind of trialing it. it with bags, don't you think? Yeah. And, like, that made people mad. Like, I remember when it was potentially being discussed in Massachusetts when I was still working at a grocery store. And there were, like, people that were actively saying, like, no, you know, you'll always have plastic bags, right? And I'm like, this is such a weird choice. Mm -hmm. Like, a weird hill, hill to just not exactly die on, but... And now most of the bags that they're handing out are paper. Yep. Which is still better than plastic, but... You know, there must be, you know, an amount of manufacturing going on to produce all of those. So I'm I'm hoping that more people pick up the reusable bags. And we even have the little netting bags. We've made got out of... really good reusable bags though. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, ours are they they're actually I would almost call them like little crates. Yeah. They essentially have a layer of cardboard underneath. And they have really good handles. Not only handles to like strap around your shoulder, but also little side handles to pick up like you would a crate. And they're really sturdy. They can actually stack on top of each other if you really need to. And uh, yeah, they, they can carry a lot of stuff. I'm really happy about those. And they don't have that weird plasticky feeling. Like I'm pretty sure that they're made with some form of polyester, but it's not the shiny plasticky polyester. It's, yeah. It has a little bit more yeah, of a fabric they feel. They phased the ones that we have out for like really plastic ones that felt bad across the board. And it's just like, eh, no thank you. Nope. Yep, so we're trying out new things. Okay. How much fatty meat do I have? I got ten. Not I wonder how amount. much. How much can you hold? Uh, each stack is twenty. Hmm. So maybe you want to get a stack of it. But the fatty meat you get from the pigs, correct? Yes. And pigs are few and far between, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, oh, there's, there's a, a couple pig. of them. I feel so bad looking at a pig and going, hmm, there's a pig. Eat it. Kill it. There's two pigs now. Yep. Yeah, I think there might be extra... I don't even know. Did spawning. that one yield any? Uh, it yielded two. I should have like 15-ish. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I was just standing directly on top of it, so... It, uh, it automatically got... Yeah, it just Intake, instantly yeah. disappeared. Whereas usually it has to travel a bit. Let me see. Chicken boss again? Chicken boss again. I definitely would not recommend this as like a roguelike. Ooh. But as far as like a kind of restaurant sim with sort of dungeon crawling aspects, well, it's charming. I'd be, I'd be curious to see... How many power-ups and meta progression would you require in order to be able to clear the entirety of the dungeon, not just this first level over and over again? See, for me, it's... it's. But then also, I do want to see other biomes. Yeah. For me, so much of the issue comes with time. Mm -hmm. Not being able to jump straight to like a later level is, is the killer part for me. Actually, I have a ton of exotic fruit. We should check how much stone I have. I wonder what kind of crafter would you go to to increase your inventory? 
no idea. Because you're, it Maybe looks like you should get several rows. Yeah. Okay, how much stone do I have? Because I got to check that. Because I know I actually need a bunch. Oh, I got 60. I don't think I need to care about that. How much Ori Kelkum do I have? At home. 36. Eh, I'll live. And you're getting those building materials for things to improve your yeah, kind of restaurant. I mean, for the most part, I guess I've just been trying to load up on anything that I have less than twenty of. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't actually really need to fight these guys. Oop. Yeah, I would say continue on. Except for the cheese spice ninja. Oh, uh, do they actually slow you? No, they drop cheese and spice. Which are things you need. Yep. circle. Yeah, I was hoping to get some more fatty meat here. I'm not seeing any more pigs. Nope. Ow. Oh, the ninja. Watch out for the bombs. Ow. I was trying to watch out for the bombs. Okay. Carnage. I don't think I need any of those. Oh. oh. Hey, respects to the... whatever that is. It was some kind of shrine oh, no. to... Same what shrine. buff did it get you? The fire nuke buff. Hmm. Okay, doors uh -oh. be closing. I was hoping you can continue to the left, but... Because there seemed to be a weird platform in the middle of it. Uh, no. Almost never. Oh, fatty meat. Like, there's not much exploration to be had in this game, unfortunately. It's, it's one of those where, like, it could be considerably deeper, but it's mostly just kind of a nice little grind box for people to chill with. Not too challenging, not too complex. Mostly just chill and charming. I wouldn't necessarily consider all this combat chill. Eh, comparatively chill. Like, I've played harder. Mm -hmm. I've also played considerably easier. Okay. Oh, they're going to keep firing at you from afar. Don't get poisoned. Oh. oh, well, you did get poisoned. Yeah. And you don't have antidotes or anything for that? Nope. What I need to do is find a reasonably safe place. This looks reasonably safe. Uh, let's see, so what am I missing? Well, considering I have a stack of hardwood in my inventory. Let's just bring that back. And then I think I'll just head out of here. Mm -hmm. I might go down one more level, but if it just looks identical to every other level we've been on, then yeah, I'll just... Mm -hmm. I will just book it. Because I'm assuming there's probably at least six to ten floors on, on this dungeon. Which, uh... But you've also only ever faced one boss. It's true, but it's the same boss over and over again. Mm -hmm. And, like, if you notice, my HP is really low. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. I like, know. I, I have I have no idea how I'm supposed to specifically get further. Is this good enough? Yeah. But if this looks notably different, then we'll stick around. Well, actually, no. We'd have to leave anyway. We'd have to leave. Yeah, it's the buff again. Trap chamber. Yeah, same stuff. So let's just get out of here. All right. Well, anyway, I think this is a good stopping point. We could keep going, but uh, I think we've seen more than enough. Quizineer is... It's a charming little restaurant sim 
the roguelike-ishness is a little spare, and I would have loved to see, like, random perks that drop randomly. Uh, like, random perks that drop from monsters. Only my late grandmother accepted me and my ambitions to be a soldier. I miss her the most. Oh, we've got two. My late grandmother used to make this, these delicious home-cooked dinners for me and taught me how to wash the rice properly before cooking it. I miss her terribly. I want to honor her memory by washing rice tonight. Do you think you could help me get some? Of course! She sounds like she was an amazing cook. She was. Whenever I was feeling low, she'd make steamed chicken rice for me. Nothing tasted more like home. Oh, that looks good. That does look good. I can already smell the steamed chicken drizzled in light soy sauce and shredded ginger. The fluffy white rice soaked up the meat juices on the plate. I still have the recipe for it, actually. I'll gift it to you as to show my thanks. Oh, don't worry. I'll get you the ingredients as soon as I can. And we also have another one. My parents never really cared about what I wanted. Right. So, of course, I didn't understand my desire to become a soldier. Oh, they didn't understand. Uh... I miss home so much. Hey, are you feeling all right? Physically, yes, but sadly, my heart is heavy. I haven't been home for a long time and I miss my family. I wish that I could eat my grandmother's <laughs> home-cooked food again. I wish there was something I could do for you. Well, if you could get me some noodles, I could make my grandmother's dish. Wait, but I thought the grandmother's dish was the chicken rice. Grandmother has a lot of dishes. In or exchange, Truffle is a liar. <laughs> I could give you the recipe. It's a dish called Mi Rebus. Ooh. So I see jalapenos and maybe tofu and egg and... Lime. Yeah, a lime. An egg noodle dish braised in a gravy made of beef broth, aromatic spices, and sweet potatoes. Garnished with eggs, chopped chilies, and fried tofu, every bite is a satisfying experience. Uh, just thinking about it fills me with longing. I can do that. Wait, right here. Do we have everything? I have no idea. We also have more furniture. Uh, more furniture. The main problem is I don't think we have enough time. Oh. Well, I would like to at least show what happens when we complete some quests. Yeah. I'll see what it can do. Worst comes to worst, we just pass right out. Okay. Uh, nope. This is this one? Quest log, side. So, oh, just 20 rice. And how many noodles? 10 noodles. Well, we should have rice. Yeah, there's 20 rice. Okay, so we'll, we'll just go do that one. I have 34 minutes, in-game minutes, before the game... Is a uh, minute a second? Yeah. Ah! Okay, good. At least in this, it, the time pauses. This is perfect. Thank you so much for helping me honor my grandmother. Here's her recipe for steamed chicken rice, as promised. That's still my favorite dish after all. Okay, so we'll have to figure out how to get the noodles. I think I have to cook those. Yeah, I, I do believe noodles are ones you have to prepare. I mean, looks like you might just be able to pop out our noodles. Oh, I see. I can just add it to my... Got it. I'll figure that out for next time. For now, to bed before we pass out right here. Ah, oh, 10 seconds. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so uh, Cuisineer is available on Steam. I think it's... Oh, jeez. I want to say it's 20 bucks. I'm just going to alt tab and double check just to be sure. It is... No, it's 25 down to 22.50 for launch. It's definitely going to be more of one of those like chill laid back experiences more than like uh, a, a full full bodied roguelike experience uh, which you know some people might be looking for at the same time you still haven't gotten down to the lower levels oh, of that one dungeon there is so much like it is entirely fair that I'm, I'm not making a whole lot of progress here but I think so much of that is just uh, attrition more you, than anything else you need to find ways to upgrade your equipment get more 
slots on that belt. Can you go back into the game at least? I guess. Uh, time just passes. Uh, I guess I can make a bunch of noodles. Oh, hello oh, again. Oh, no. Oh, it was Palm, wasn't it? Uh, yes. It, is there something wrong? I, I thought I paid off my debt already. Oh, yes. Don't worry about that. Congratulations again on successfully paying off your parents' first debt. Thank you. I, I'm really glad that I... Wait. What do you mean, first debt? That's why I'm here. There's been an update. So we found your parents' other debts while spring cleaning the office. It's unfortunate, but kindly pay the tax office 10,000 gold coins at the premises will be repossessed and sold to the highest bidder. Good day. Not again. Mom... Dad, why do you do this to me? Hello, Palm. Do you have a table for one? Uh, there's always a table for you, Biscotti. Uh, what would you like today? Hmm. I'm not really feeling anything on the menu. Don't you have something new? Not at the moment. Between sourcing new ingredients and running the restaurant, I don't have time to think of new recipes. Let me see if I can think of something. By the way, there was a postcard at your door. Who's it from? Oh wow, it's from my parents. Time to scold them for all the crippling debt they're putting me through. Dearest okay. darling Palm, we ran up a b bit of a debt and now we're in a <laughs> debtor's prison in, in Bermuda. Please send us 20,000 gold, otherwise they're going to sell us for pots. <laughs> okay, what did they actually say? Dearest darling Palm, we heard you reopened our restaurant. We're so glad you've chosen to follow in our footsteps. I hope you can find joy in the debt and get the same sense of achievement that we did paying off our parents' debts. <laughs> we are having a wonderful holiday. It's been a while since we were the ones being served. Have you ever had lunch in the Mallow Caverns? It's a sizzling experience. The Flaming Spice here packs a punch. So we've packed some for you in case you feel like trying it out. Your warm and loving parents, Mum and Dad. Jeez, my parents are much too carefree for people their age. I should track them down. The postage on the card looks worn out, though. It must have taken ages to reach here. They're probably in a new place by now. Ah, uh, I suppose they deserve a good holiday after working hard for so many years. Besides, it looks like they've given you a new ingredient. Maybe you should add some recipes with flaming spice to the menu. You're right. I really should update my menu. I wonder what else I can do. Maybe you can go check out the Mala Caverns? It's said to be a hot spot for fiery ingredients. Oh, that's a great idea, Biscotti. Thanks. So Wait. That's probably how we have access to. Can you see what's in the caverns? Oh, we also had plenty of flaming spice. Uh, and some other things. Er, Please. I shell. This video is already like an hour and twenty minutes long. Oh, but you could just at least see what it looks noodles. like. Yeah, let's go. Let's go look at it. The thing is, the, uh, I mean, hopefully I'll just be able to quit. We are not talking to that NPC. I'm just going to quit as soon as we get in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see? You got another yep. location. A, a decrepit what? It decrepit had some lore. Volcano? I I am very much trying to end this off. Ooh, it's really warm here. Biscotti was right. I'm sure to find some fiery ingredients here. Oh, look at this. A smackerel. What luck? I bet I can use this here. I should also see if there's anything new I can add to the menu, too. Let's go. Wait, if you found a smack roll, can you use the smack roll? Isn't it a weapon? Yeah, it is. Come on. Use the smack roll. Oh, very fast. <laughs> okay. New type of wood? Oh. Oh, the smack roll has a... Fire dash. Applies flame and also fire dash. Wait, is there... That's a potato and it's firing potato chips. Yep, so it is. All right, well, one way or another, it is time for us to end this video because if I don't, Shell's going to have us here for the next three hours. Oh, uh, sorry. Shell has a serious thirst for Let's Play content and... Boy, my schedule does not allow for it right now. So... Uh, if you oh, guys... Oh, really? I just wanted to see something new. Like, the, I'm getting crushed. I like my hammer better. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, good. Progress is not saved. Uh, the other problem is our inventory is super full of ingredients from the last cave because we haven't cleaned anything out, uh, which is a bit of an issue. Anyway, 
Uh, so Cuisineer is available on Steam. I already said all that stuff. So if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave us mm -hmm. like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because we got tons to check out and show off. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I guess the video isn't quite over yet. Uh, the Cuisineer developers... I guess... I guess the video isn't quite over yet. The Cuisineer developers sent us a goodie box, so I might as well pop it open on camera uh, before we end things off. It's not much. It's pretty small, so I'm not going to go for, like, the full camera setup for today. But they gave us a lot of stuff, actually. So, let's start with the letter. Just because. There we go. I'm just destroying everything. Let's see. Dear Wander, I enjoyed watching your gameplay and review of Quisineer during the Steam Next Fest. I'm looking forward to future adventures when it releases. The devs hope you enjoy this little box of goodies as well. Love, Palm. And the Battle Brew crew. Oh, that's fun. So we have a little postcard. Let's see. Bunch of stickers. Oh, with their beautiful food illustrations, too. And critters. And another uh, Quisineer postcard. And another Quisineer postcard. Actually, just duplicate of the last one, I think. That's fair. More food, more monsters. Actually, it looks like we're... I think they might have sent double. <laughs> Ooh, did they really? I think they actually sent us the soundtrack. Gotta be ginger with this one. Not a lot of devs send their soundtracks. It, wait, is it? Is it their soundtrack? No. Maybe? I don't, I don't think so. I think it's just an illustration of her listening to some music. It's cardstock with a print on it. Unless there's a secret entrance into this, this thing. I thought they sent us the soundtrack, but I got debated. That's okay. I mean, certainly cute. Uh, what else they give us? A... Oh, it's like... Wait, how does this work? It's shrink-wrapped. But it feels like you're supposed to kind of open this up. Use this to display gemstones, but instead we've got one of the little hot pepper things. Interesting. So you're not supposed to open it. Oh, wait, no, you are. Huh. Well, that's cute. And then we've got also a tiny little hot pepper keychain that they put together. If I can... This probably sounds all sorts of fun on the camera. Eh. There we go. So, more cute pepper creature. Ooh, it's soft too. It's got a belly button. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess once again, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you Battle Brew for sending us this cute little package. Oh, there's one more thing. Uh, some cookies, it looks like. I'm glad it's not real cookies. I, I can't, I can't eat random food sent in goodie boxes because I don't know what's in it, generally. Uh, I think we had one where I was like, oh, I know that restaurant. That's not bad. Uh, mainly because it was a local place and they had just randomly sent us a thing. But, like, uh, we've definitely had, like, homemade stuff, and it's just like, oh, I don't know about that. I can't do that. Uh, so, yeah, it's nice to get the cookies without the actual cookies. And all the other bits and bobs. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.